goal of research in my lab is to help maximize a person's recovery after they've had a stroke. Our main interest is in people recovering from stroke and how do they get function back. And we focus especially on the arm, which is a big part of human function. We ask the question, why do some people get better after a stroke and some people don't? What's the biology of that? What's going on in the brain when somebody does or doesn't regain control of arm movement after stroke? People need to have high doses of rehab in order to uh, maximize their recovery from a stroke. And so we um, scoured the literature for how do you maximize human motivation? One of the key answers is gamification. We've turned most of our exercises into functional games. And so people are trying to uh, play blackjack or shoot a duck or whack a mole uh, or drive a car and so on and so forth. And um, when we do that, we find that when somebody's sitting at home with our tele-rehab system in their home and they're on their own for the day, they still turn on the system and finish their hour plus of assigned tele-rehab therapy 98% of the time. Another side of it is measuring the biology of the problem. What can we measure in the brain that tells us where somebody's brain is at, whether we're going to make them better? How do we find out who will respond to our treatment and who won't? And that involves an array of imaging and physiology and genetic tests, trying to figure out what's going on in the brain so whether these new uh, recovery-based treatments are going to help or not. What you just saw on the screen is a live recording of my brain electroencephalogram, also known as EEG. On my head sits a cap with 256 leads, or little microphones. Each microphone, each one of these, is recording the electricity that comes out of my brain in real time. When we are done, we ask of this recording which electrical conversations between which brain areas are most related to stroke recovery. This is an example of taking a peek under the hood. This is an example of looking directly at the brain to understand how the brain is working to best connect the right patients with the right therapies to maximize recovery from stroke. It's an exciting time to be a researcher in the area of stroke recovery because there are many good ideas coming forward that we can evaluate and hopefully move forward.